Hi there, welcome to another Tips and Tricks Tuesday with Lynn Allen. Thank you so much for joining me again, of course. And today we're going to talk about blocks, more specifically, how to have multiple insertion points for a block. Have you ever wanted that, huh? You know, sometimes one insertion point just isn't enough. And it's actually easy to do, but not very obvious, okay? That's why you're gonna stick with me. I'm gonna show you how to do it, all right? so. Let me just kind of take a look at what I have in my jar. And I, have a, I have a block of a car. You can see the insertion point there. But you know, I want to have multiple insertion points for that car. I want a whole bunch of them, not just one up in the front. So easy, right click. I'm going to go into the block editor. And this is where the magic happens. So inside of the block editor, I'm hoping that you've used this before. But if not, no problem. There happens to be this authoring palette. It might just already show up on the screen. I have it docked on the left, but it'll show up, I promise. And the key to multiple insertion points may not be obvious, but it's a parameter called point. Let me go ahead and select that. And then I'm gonna simply pick where I want the, an insertion point to go. Let's put one right there in the middle. All right, now it's gonna ask you where you want the tag to go. You can put that anywhere you want to. It doesn't make any difference at all. We're not even gonna label it. Doesn't matter at all. All right, let's do another one. Let's make sure you get it. We're gonna do three. Let's add one more. Maybe add one at the front. How about right up here? Once again, doesn't matter where you put the tag. And we'll do one last one, we'll do one more. I'm gonna go ahead and move my cursor down here so we have one at the other end, how about that? And we'll put the, <laughs> put the tag way over on the side. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Now the other thing that's gonna kinda bug you is that we have these, we have these exclamation points on the screen, which usually is a bad thing. <laughs> In this case, don't worry about it, just ignore it, it's not a bad thing. We are good to go. And we're gonna test this, because that was pretty simple so far, right? Let's test it, make sure we got it right. So I love this feature that was added in a while ago called test block. Let me go ahead and select that. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna insert my car. And there it is right there. All right, now it looks like it still has the same insertion point, but I'm gonna hit the control key and you'll see that it moves through each of the insertion points. And can you see that it does it in the order that I put them in as well? And then back to the beginning. So you can pick any one of these that you want and then pick where you want your car to go, for example, and you'll see that you now have multiple insertion points for that specific block. All right, so when I'm done testing it, you just need to close out of the test block. I'm just testing it right now. And you're gonna wanna save it for good, so you're gonna say save block, and then you're gonna close the block editor. Or if you try to close the block editor, it's gonna remind you that you didn't save it anyway. So it's that simple. And now anytime I insert my car, I can use the control key to cycle through all of those insertion points. Easy piece of cake, right? Did you like that? All right, promise me you're gonna try this. You're gonna love it, you're gonna be the star in the office. All right, so once again, thank you so much for joining me and I hope to see you back here in two more weeks.